Sometimes March 2015, Maid came to her rescue. One year ago, Maid had a fish farm training session for people across Aquaibum State, and this was done here in this fish farm at Ikorekpene. The aim of the training, amongst others, is to train and equip current and would be fish farmers on the new technique of fish farming as against the old method. The Aquaibum experiment has since become a case study for other states as people from all walks of life are showing interest in fish farming as the beneficiaries of the training go back to their various localities and use lessons gained at this training to improve their yield. We were struggling within ourselves and we made a lot of mistakes. But suddenly a savior came that was made and naïk. They decided to train us when they saw the agony and what the women were passing through. We were set up on a, a training for three days. After the three days training, we went in for intensive training for six months. After that six months, during that time, we were able to know how to get a healthy fingerlings, how we can examine the fingerlings, from the beginning, he would fed us on the how to feed the fingerlings from starters until they grow up to mature size. I didn't know that training when I was a kid, I didn't know that training. I didn't know that training. I didn't know that training. But I got grading. I didn't know that training. So, I didn't know that training. Maid has improved the lives of small and medium scale fish farmers like Elder Clement Otto. The last fish that we sold, we put it only on the 25th day of November, but it was ready for sales on March. Only four months. They were up to 1.5 to 2 kg each. And we used only two weeks to sell out the fish. I personally, I smoke my fish with the kin, the smoking kin provided by meat. The difference in the smoking kin was the, pre the previous one we used to smoke with firewood, but now it's, no, it's not firewood but with charcoal and uh, the way the fishes will come out will be more finer compared to the one we smoke with the firewood. This new equipment has led to the increase in the demand of fresh fish as more fingerlings are produced, nurtured and bred into full grown in the shortest possible time unlike before, significantly improving the incomes of both fish farmers and retail sellers. We are now expanding if you see at the beginning, we were building uh, ponds of uh, 30 feet by 20 feet, which is very hard to manage. By so doing, we cannot sort, but with this training, we know that to have these small ponds so that we can sort, we can sample, that help us a lot. And when our fish is sick, we will simply know because you will see it. So this training has given us a lot, both in cash and knowledge. Made the intervention program has helped me a lot in my farm. It's helped me to know how to feed my feet, the number of uh, bags of feet that I can feed them. So that intervention is very much because before, before, my fish has died because of inter their intervention. 
I now have fish that did not die, from fingerlings to table size. Even some of us that do not even have the passion and interest, we've been able to start small things, like using the tarpaulin. Before I didn't construct my pond, I used the tarpaulin and the GP tank. I started with 500 fingerlings. And I had, I, under, I, got, I went through a lot before getting at least 50. I, I, what I got out of the 500 was not up to 50. I had so high, very high mortality rates. But now I've been able to do the sorting and take all the precautions through made intervention. I stocked over 1,700 fishes and I was able to bring out, and it was about 1,200. I had a very little uh, mortality rate. So now I can really say that meat has really done a lot. I want to encourage other farmers and uh, people that are interested in fish farming that if they undergo the training from true meat, they will be able to gain a lot. The mate experience has greatly improved fish farming in Aquaibum State. Fish farmers can now sell fish less than one kilo and still make good yield. A testament to the improvements made is making in the Niger Delta.